Good afternoon. Thank you everyone for being here with us today. And we're very pleased to welcome you on our grand opening. Um, it was decided to host the opening virtually in Zoom. However, we're excited to meet you all in person to explore Ukrainian culture and literature together here at Osaradok. You may have noticed that we have Q&A box in the toolbar. So if you have any questions throughout the presentation, feel free to put all of your questions there and we'll answer them at the end of the presentation. Before we get started, I would love to hand over to Linda Hunter, board member and chair of Reading Room Research Center Comedy, who unfortunately wasn't able to join us today, but she will be able to, um, she, ha she has recorded a um, message for everyone. So please welcome Linda Hunter. Welcome to Osirado Ukrainian Cultural and Educational Center. My name is Linda Hunter. I'm a member of the Osiradov Board of Directors and the project manager for the Reading Room and Research Center project. For many years, Osiradov has wanted to establish a program that would bring youth into the organization to learn about Ukrainian culture and customs. There always seemed to be the issue of resources and funding and priorities to get such a project started. In 2020, Olenka Skrepnik, the previous museum technician and administrative assistant put together a proposal to create a reading room in the library that would provide opportunities for children of all ages to have access to books, workshops, programs, and readings regarding Ukrainian culture. At the, time, at the same time, this space would be available to researchers for them to have access to the many books, newspapers, and articles that we have in the library. Thanks to the support in the community, we were able to receive funding to get this project underway. The first order of business was to create an environment in the library that would be appealing to children. So walls were painted, carpets were cleaned, new window coverings were installed, new furniture for children was purchased, and we now have desks for the computers. A project team was put together, and with their guidance and help, a coordinator was hired who is preparing programs and workshops that will be held virtually and in person once we're able to do so. We're also looking forward to work with bilingual programs and Ukrainian schools in the province. The team is now reviewing what is currently in the collections and will be adding children's books to the library. Although we are not set up as a lending library at this time, we will have numerous programs planned to access the collections in our library. We are very excited about the work that we have done so far and we encourage you to come in and have a look. Keep tabs on our programs on social media and participate when you can. We're also looking for feedback and suggestions on future programming and opportunities for bringing these to the community. So please don't hesitate to forward them to us. We look forward to hearing from you and seeing you at one of our programs. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the project team and all those involved for bringing this project to fruition. Hello, um, my name is Yulia Smersla. I am executive director at Osiradok Ukrainian Cultural Educational Center. Доброго дня! З великою гордістю вітаю вас в читальні та дослідницькому центрі імені Української фундації Усейн Боніфіс в Осередку. I'm delighted to welcome you at our new, the St. Boniface Ukrainian Foundation Reading Room and Research Center. Osiradok prides itself on its ability to preserve Ukrainian history and culture for current and future generations. Our collection holds a remarkable trove of materials co collected over a century, reflecting many aspects of Ukrainians' life in Canada and elsewhere, used by scholars, researchers and individuals internationally. With the opening of our new reading room and research center, Osiradok now can first provide accessibility to our collections, of our collections to our community. Now our new renovated space also has materials and technology needed for researchers, volunteers and staff to work with our collections. And second, we are holding a dedicated children's corner 
that is showcasing and giving families access to Osaradok's collection of children's books. This initiative opens Osaradok to innovative and exciting opportunities to develop children's programming. On behalf of uh, Osaradok Board of Directors, I would like to thank uh, to our donors for their commitment and support of Ukrainian culture and education and youth that continues to benefit the community. Thank you to Darusa Kozalko at the Bonifis Ukrainian Foundation, to Duke Kandia and Lydia Kandia at Cirex, Maria Halkevich supporting us from Korbutak Luchin Estate, Hania Tarasiuk and Dr. Brian Luki, Ben Vasilishin Design and Art, Susan Druk and Paulette Manita at the Svita Foundation, the Winnipeg Foundation, and thank you to Olenka Skripnik, Alexandra Shkandri, Hannah Piklik, and Katia Blecki, and Nathan Varghese for their commitment. Special thank you to Anna Shapilova, our uh, Reading Room and Research Center coordinator, who is doing an excellent job of making sure that the Reading Room and Research Center is working at its best standards. А зараз я хочу надати слово президенту Української фундації Юсейн Бонітес, пані Дарусі Козелко. Дякую. Доброго дня. Мене звати Даруся Козелко, і я є голова Української фундації Сейн Бонітес. Маю велику честь бути сьогодні тут в осередку, хоча не в осередку, на офіційному віртуальному відкритті читанні та дослідницького центру імені Української фундації Сейн Бонітес. Дякуємо за вшанування відданої праці члени нашої фундації, за вданням якої є підтримки культури, освіти та мистецтва українських громад і Вінніпегу. Бажаємо осередку і новоствореному центру і в майбутньому відігравати важливу роль у житті нашої громади. Далі я продовжую англійською мовою. Sorry. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Darusha Kozelko, and as chair of the St. Boniface Ukrainian Foundation, I am pleased to join you at the virtual opening of the Reading Room and Research Center at Osadadok, which is named in honor of the members of this foundation. These people met in Canada between the two world wars. They celebrated life and navigated its ups and downs together. They were committed and dedicated, and they understood the importance of cooperation, collaboration, and the spirit of volunteerism. They were generous and shared what they had. These same individuals offered their skills and talents to Osaradok since its inception. They formed an organization and built a home, a Demilka, where they held various fundraising events, promoted the arts and hosted dignitaries. They collected coins in jars and even used their own funds to support various projects and activities in the community. They wanted to ensure the presence of Ukrainian culture in the mosaic of diversity that is Canada. So this group of humble, hardworking immigrants and their families decided to create, provide, and enlarge a fund. The St. Boniface Ukrainian Foundation provided a financially secure way to both share and preserve their rich Ukrainian heritage of which they were so proud. Osaradok, whose mandate is to preserve and promote Ukrainian culture, has been the main beneficiary of these funds. It should be noted that this group um, provided a generous first gift to the Ukrainian Cultural and Educational Foundation, which was established by the same group of individuals and several members of the Board of Directors of Osaradok at, this time, at that time. The members of the St. Boniface Ukrainian Foundation never sought the spotlight, but preferred to be recognized as a collective rather than individually. I am not only a member of the St. Boniface Ukrainian Foundation, but as a granddaughter and daughter of some of the founders and members of this group, I believe that they deserve a respect and gratitude for having left a legacy and a footprint. This new area dedicated to research and the sharing of ideas within Osiradok encompasses their vision. I know that they believed in the power of education and that the examination of the past and reflection in the present holds promise for the future. As Ray Bradbury said, Without libraries, what have we? We have no past and no future. We are very pleased that with the establishment of the center, Osaradok is taking steps to remain an integral part of the awareness of Ukrainian culture in Canada. I too invite you to come visit and explore the treasures that are housed at Osaradok. 
Thank you very much for naming this center in honor of the St. Boniface Ukrainian Foundation and its members. This is a wonderful acknowledgement of their passion. Diakri. Thank you, Darusa. Thank you, Yulia. And um, thank you, St. Boniface Ukrainian Foundation, for our continued support. Dobrodeng, Cheras. Rada vas vitate na nashnom vitkriti. Uh, my name is Anna Shabilova, and I'm the new Reading Room and Research Center Coordinator here at Osaradok. I recently moved to Winnipeg from Kiev, Ukraine, and I'm a student at University of Manitoba. I love Ukrainian literature, and I'm excited to share my passion for learning with you. So now let's explore what is Reading Room together. First of all, Reading Room Research Center is a space for kids to learn more about Ukrainian as well as world literature space for researchers who explore our libraries and archives and can search any necessary information. Also, Green Room Research Center is space for you. So let's start with our programming. Uh, here you can see all upcoming events. First of them is virtual trip to Ukraine, which is gonna be a part of Independence Day celebration. Virtual trip to Ukraine, which is collaborative programming with our summer intern Nathan and museum guide Anna. So um, I would like to say that trip is for everyone, and the purpose of this programming is to develop the knowledge of those kids and adults and expose them to their incredible culture of Ukraine. We'll present the virtual trip in the video format that is going to be posted in our social media and website. The writing competition is another programming that will take place in November and is going to be part of Ukrainian language and literacy celebration. So we decided to dedicate this week in November to kids' exploration of their creativity and writing skills. Uh, the topic for this writing competition is going to be announced in September. The reading sessions, which is going to be called Casca Evenings. We'd love to share all the resources and the pieces of literature that we have in our reading room so that we've decided to have reading sessions on different topics such as Ukrainian fairy tales, festivals, customs, as well as scientific topics and literature of non-Ukrainian writers. Uh, first, the program will be delivered online and hopefully will be in person soon. The first reading that will be in our reading room as Kaskis Brazova Holesu, which will be both available in Ukrainian and in English. Now, I would love to share a few programs that we've already successfully delivered. First of them is Ivana Kupala celebration on 7th of July. Ivana Kupala with finger painting tutorial um, that you can find on Osiradik's YouTube channel was delivered along with some other worksheets for kids in both English and Ukrainian, they will help them to explore Ivana Kupala's symbols more. And with regard to Research Center, we've received a request for information about Ivana Kupala on their festivals, traditions, and customs, descriptions of their holiday uh, in art and folk. And we, we used a lot of resources from the library and from archive to complete this request. Another thing is virtual trip to Ukraine for grade one. The virtual trip for kids was uh, for kids from age from six to eight years old. It was our first program delivered by Reading Room Research Center. This presentation for, uh, was mainly focused on Ukrainian immigration to Canada. And we also talked about some reasons of immigration, how this process was uh, facilitated and encouraged by the government and by the people here in Canada. We've talked about differing spheres of Ukrainians live here, such as food, fashion, work, music, and art. To make the presentation more interactive and interesting for kids, we showed a few things from Osiradik's collections connected to this sphere, such as sickle, which is an agricultural tool, dolls and Ukrainian outfits, and we also listened to Bandura music and analyzed patterns on Pesanke. What about researchers? We created a space for researchers where they can access our archives, our library and rare book collections, as well as use our computers and research space. And now on the slide, we can see the map of all recent research requests. Our very first researcher who visited center a couple of weeks ago was 
PhD candidate from University of Toronto, Ulyana Plobashuk Pizamatska. Uh, she did a research on Ukrainian workers of literature for children and youth named after Leonid Glibov. And here you can see some of her quotes. And also we get a lot of requests from all over the world, from Alberta, Germany, even from Ukraine and Japan. We'll love to thank you for, for participating in our presentation. And it's gonna be our first program, so I would love to read my favorite piece of literature for you. It's uh, Lina Kostenko Krila. Ay pravda, krilatim gruntu no treba. Zimli nemaje, to bude nebo. Nemaje polja, to bude volja. Nemaje pare, to bude hmare. V tom napevno pravda ptašina, a jak že ljudina? A što ž ljudina? Žive na zemlji, sama ne letaje, a krila maje. A krila maje. Vone ti krila ne spuh u pirja, a spravde, česnoti i dovirja. У кого звірності у коханні, у кого свічного поривання, у кого щирості до роботи, у кого з пісні або з надії, або з поезії, або з мрії. Людина нібито не літає, а крила має. А крила має. This poem really emphasizes me on the thing that as soon as we gain the knowledge power, we can gain freedom and we can adapt to any environment that we live in and we can express our, ourselves freely. And the knowledge is the power. So we encourage you to come to here to the Reading Room Research Center and to, to learn something new. So now we'll go to Q&A session. So if you have any questions, feel free to um, put them in a Q&A box so we can answer them. I would love to talk about some other questions that we got even before, as one of the main points of the reading room is that will kids or readers, readers will be able to borrow some of the books from the library. Unfortunately, now we don't have this opportunity to, um, to, um, to give books to kids. However, we are developing categorizing on the book and hopefully we'll be able to, to give books to kids. And as well as the diversity of the books in Reading Room and Research Center, um, we have both non-Ukrainian writers uh, in our kids' book collections, as well as Ukrainian writers. Uh, all of our books in Ukrainian, and we also have our collection, which is bilingual. So um, we have books on different topics. For example, we have the scientific or either Ukrainian fairy tales or some of the books which are connected to the history. And now Reading Room is mainly focused on their, on developing the programming for kids uh, age from six to 10. So it's like primary school. And the program for now is gonna be delivered online, but hopefully we'll get some of the programs soon. Uh, when their school year starts. And we we'll love you, thank you for participation. And hopefully to see you soon here at Asaradok. And we thank you for joining us today. We're hoping to see you also in our virtual events that you can check on our website and join our programming as well for Reading Room. Thank you so much.